Hey guys, my name is Cameron and welcome to my brand new Power Sports Outdoor Adventure Channel, Cam's Overlanding, and my next video. All right, uh, before I get started folks, uh, I just want to send out a quick apology here for the background noise. Uh, today I happen to be in sunny northwest Wisconsin, uh, more specifically uh, about five miles due west of uh, Siren. Uh, and that out there, guys, is Wisconsin 70. And cars, motorcycles, campers, you name it, are screaming by without mercy out there, about 50 yards from my vantage point. And that makes for some very irritating background noise. So uh, when is necessary, I will try to remember to speak up uh, so you guys can hear me uh, a little clearer, okay? All right, so I apologize about the background noise in advance here. All right, one other quick note here. If you like this kind of content, uh, please feel free to hit the uh, thumbs up button there. And then uh, head on over to the bell notifications thing and hit the hell out of that thing. And that way you get notified every time I publish a brand new video to my brand new channel here, okay? And subscribe. I think I got about six subscribers so far. It's a brand new channel, but I want lots, okay? All right. All right, so all that gibberish aside, what is this video about? Okay, this video is about the cargo boxes that come on the star of the show here for this channel, the brand new CF Moto Seaforce 1000 Overland. Okay, brand new one. Okay, I think there's like 0.8 miles on it right now. Brand new, just bought it off the showroom floor here just a little while ago. Brand new. Uh, overland all right and by the way i've affectionately named him bigfoot so i will refer to uh <laughs> bigfoot here uh i'm sure uh many times uh on this uh channel i'm going to create many 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 videos and uh hopefully you guys will find them all inter uh entertaining but uh when i refer to bigfoot you know you'll know and it's this guy right here all right all that said all right so like i said this video is about the cargo boxes okay that come with the uh with the uh brand new uh seaforce overland okay and uh cf moto uh changed um the box here a little bit in recent years uh it used to be a two box system uh which kind of sucks i've seen those i didn't like it uh this is a three box system so you can see one two three there and that is very cool. Um, they are multi-configurable, uh, so you can have one on, two off, two on, one off, yada, yada. They all three are uh, separate from each other, and you can have uh, any multitude of a number of configurations uh, for your bike, for your Bigfoot, right? So... Uh, let me get a little closer view here. Okay, so uh, this is basically just uh, thick poly uh, material here. Uh, they're very well built, very sturdy, and they bolt onto this bike like crazy, man. They're not going anywhere. We'll get to that in just a few minutes here. But first, just wanted to show you. I got a pad here. Okay, Overland. That's really cool. I'm going to get some decals for the back of this bike that tell everyone what the name of the bike is Bigfoot uh, at any rate um, I really like the rubber handles here you get a rubber handle here and then on the other one over there and then this center one is a uh, big steel handle so uh, very sturdy for uh, taking them off the bike and uh, carrying them around with your uh, gear and stuff in them those handles are not gonna come off so like I said I like the stainless steel and then you can also use bungee cords and you know just kind of strap uh, some more stuff down uh, on top of the boxes okay these cargo boxes are meant to hold a lot and CF Moto claims that there's uh, 166 liter capacity on these which basically roughly translates into about 44 gallons um, so if you think of like um, think of like a 50 gallon drum right um, and how much that holds well this here holds uh, these cargo boxes hold 44 gallons So it's pretty close. So that is an enormous amount of cargo. Okay. All right And so uh, just for reference here too, the back of the bike uh, Will support 75 pounds and the front of the bike here uh, will support 100 pounds 
So, and I got that rack too. That does not come with the bike. I bought that as an accessory. Uh, but you can put bags in here, gear, whatever. The front holds 100 pounds and the back holds 75 pounds. Okay, so let's go around the back for a back view here for you guys. Okay, very cool. So you can see one, two, three. love these cargo boxes you know this is one of the first things that drew my eye when i saw this uh bike um and for your information uh i previously had a uh, 2020 cf moto 800 xc and i had wished uh at the time that it had boxes and everything on it but uh i got by with some soft-sided boxes and i decided it wasn't going to work so for a multitude of reasons but that's one of them as well uh, for a multitude of reasons, I upgraded uh, to the CF Moto uh, 1000 uh, Overland, and I'm very, very happy. So, it was a necessary upgrade. Okay, so uh, let's take a look first inside, uh, and then I will get to how they fasten on to the bike. Okay, so let's first take a look uh, inside the boxes. You guys want to see what they look like. Okay. All right, so the wall on the inside is like really silky smooth, like uh, poly material. It's like really soft. It's really, really nice, nice and smooth, easy to clean, easy to wipe out, so on and so forth. Um, and there's also a seal on here, a high quality rubber seal all the way around the box here. And that uh, clamps down really nice and tight, keep out rain, dirt, mud, water whatever uh, that's a very nice feature uh, another really cool feature uh, just on these two outside boxes this one and that one over there uh, the center one does not come with this but each of the side boxes uh, comes with a little plug I don't know if you can see that down there there's a little plug in the corner down there so uh, if you wanted to you could fill this box with ice uh, for beverages food whatever and at the end of the day, just drain out all the water, pull that plug, and pop her right back in there. Very, very cool feature. Uh, I didn't know this um, feature existed until I did a little bit of research uh, before I bought the bike. Um, very cool feature. And interestingly enough, the salesman did not know about that feature either. <laughs> so, and that's kind of an important feature. That's really neat to know. For instance, if you're cruising along and say you forget to latch these down, they get all full of everything. Um, you'd think that, gee, you gotta take it off, tip it upside down, wipe it out, yada, yada. That's not the case. Just pull the plug, drain it, yada, yada, you're all done. So real simple. So let me show you inside here again. Okay. Very cool lots of cargo capacity okay I'll latch these down all right and then i'll show you the center one and then we'll kind of get into the fastening uh method here nice big big uh lid <clears throat> very cavernous very cavernous indeed a lot of room in there for tents, sleeping bags, whatever you put in there, it's not going to get wet. Let me give you an overview there. There you go. Okay, we'll close that down again. All right, let's kind of talk about the latching system and the hinges. Okay, all right, so uh, each one of these uh, latches here, there's five of them here. And um, each one of these is kind of spring-loaded, if you can see that. <laughs> there we go. Um, so if you're uh, trying to stuff this thing <laughs> over full of gear and whatnot, and you're sitting there huffing and puffing, pushing down, these things will help you get it closed because they're spring-loaded. Okay, very, very cool feature. Okay, there's one on the center one. Okay, same thing. And they do close down tight, so they seal really nicely. And then two, of course, here. All right, so how do they fasten to the bike? All right, so the Overland, uh, and as far as I know, just about every other uh, CF Moto uh, ATV comes with uh, this rack right here, this hard plastic. Actually, it's a metal rack, and it's coated. Uh, there's a 
plastic piece that fits over that. But uh, the cargo boxes are latched directly on to the rack that comes with the bike. So if you can kind of see there, there's a couple metal rings and these latches uh, hook onto those rings nice and tight. Okay, so the first time I saw this bike, I looked at those latches and I thought, well, geez, the very first thing I thought is those can catch on something and pop open and then the whole damn thing can just, you know, come flying off the bike and that would be a big oh no. But CF Moto uh, thought about this and they created a really cool feature here. So let me show you. So each one of these latches on here um, is equipped with a little button right there. So all you have to do is push that button down and then pop the latch. So if I were to sit here and just pull on this like this, it's not gonna open, okay? You have to push down and then she pops open, okay? Push down and then she pops open, okay? All right. Now the center box is different. As you can see, there are no uh, back uh, latches or hinges on there, okay? The big box, hooks up on the inside okay so if you can see um, the rack on the that comes with the bike underneath these uh, boxes uh, comes with pre uh, designed uh, holes in the bottom and this big box uh, has a couple uh, quick release clamps uh, that come with it one and two um, and what you do is you just take that out like that can see the hole down there and these doodads here are specifically meant for that hole down there and they are what hold the bike on the box on nice and tight okay and like I mentioned earlier this one does not have a plug in it but if you wanted to I'm sure you could create one real easy but uh, just for reference, the uh, center box does not come uh, with a hole. So uh, then you just lift up, push forward, um, and uh, pick the whole thing up uh, with that metal handle right there. Okay? So and the other one does the same here. In fact, it's so easy, I bet you can do it with one hand. I'm sure you can. Let's see. Push the button, unlatch. Push the button, unlatch. Okay, make sure that that's unlatched like that there. All right, now it should come right up. There's a front hook that the uh, that there's a piece that goes underneath a, a metal ring up there, and then uh, there's two pins in the back uh, that this fits onto. But let me just demonstrate here. <laughs> Like that okay and there you can see so the box has a piece that slides under there and then there's uh, this pin uh, beg your pardon there's one pin uh, that the box sits on to keep it uh, from moving laterally back and forth so uh, very sturdy very sturdy system <clears throat> and I like that they all three come off uh, separately um, and you can have like I said earlier many configurations all right so one last thing for the cargo boxes if you want to put the uh, passenger seat on here uh, which is sold separately by the way it's sold for about 600 bucks I uh, just got mine um, you need to take this big center box off so if you want a passenger on here I mean it is a two-up model so if you want a passenger, you're going to have to take that off and then snap the seat on, and that will be uh, covered in another video. I'll show you how that's done. But uh, really cool feature, and that pops off uh, like I showed you earlier. Uh, very simple, very easy. Uh, no problem, but you do have to take the uh, center box off uh, for uh, the passenger seat. So other than that, uh, these things, that, like I said earlier, are built really tough. Uh, I would say this has the same, uh, I don't know, toughness, if you will, uh, of like a igloo cooler. Uh, they're very thick, hard, poly, very, very sturdy, uh, and they hold up, I'm sure, to just about every element. 
So very nice feature, nice seals, nice latches. They're not going anywhere when you're cruising down the trail. Uh, I've already shown you that. So at any rate, that is the cargo box uh, system for the CF Moto C Force 1000 Overland. Very, very uh, versatile and very handy and very cavernous. So, all right, folks, that's the video. Um, like I told you earlier, if you like this video, um, please hit the thumbs up uh, for me and let me know that you like the video and also comment, okay? I love talking about the videos that I make um, and I love uh, hearing what you guys have uh, and just learning. You know, I love learning. I love hearing what other people have, their experiences with equipment like this, uh, so on and so forth. So, um, at any rate, that is the video. Like I said, uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for tuning in to uh, this video of Bigfoot's cargo boxes. Yes, folks, Bigfoot. Bigfoot stone. <laughs> All right, thanks for tuning in, folks, and we'll see you in the next video, okay? All right.